Welcome back everybody. This video is where we finally jump into the meat of this course. Now in this video we're going to be discussing what's known as AJAX. AJAX stands for Asynchronous JavaScript and XML. And I ain't even going to try to write that out, so just look it up if you need to know the spelling. What does that mean? Well, AJAX is a technique to make a request to the server, and the server is going to respond, but it's all asynchronous, meaning the, pers the client can still use the web application while the, s the request is happening and the response is brought back. But it's only one way. So that means you can only make a request to the server and the server gives a response. It can't be the other way around and that the server has new information and sends that to the client as needed. That would be two-way communication. Ajax doesn't work that way. Let's go over an example of how Ajax can make your web experience super legit. All right, so you're filling out this super long form. You're signing up for a website or whatever. You free stuff and you have to fill out all this junk, right? And you're filling it out and it's giving you corrections, right? And it's like, oh, your username has to be five to 10 characters or whatever. What client side validation does is it will basically give you suggestions on how to format all your data before you can click submit. And it's usually done in JavaScript. Well, the thing is, people can disable their JavaScript just by going to their web browser settings. So client-side validation is never enough to make a form perfect. You always need server-side validation. Server-side validation is when the data is actually sent to the server and it's checked, and if it's okay, it's put into a database or the person gets access to the website or whatever. That's server-side. Now, what Ajax can do is can actually give you server-side validation without causing a page refresh. And that is magical. Some people aren't going to see why it's magical, but because HTTP is a stateless protocol, we're all used to having to click something, waiting for the response from the server, and then continuing. Well, with Ajax, it's not working that way any longer. Now, once you leave a form element, such as an input box, it can use an AJAX request to send the data. So like, let's say we have this form here and here's all the data. It gets sent to the server. The server validates it and then sends it back to the web application. The web application did not have to perform a refresh. It just looks like client side validation. You, as soon as you leave the box, behind the scenes there is an AJAX request to the server and it updates and says you have to have whatever, you, have, you know? That is one of the magical uses of AJAX. And this also allows you to do more things. For example, if you want to check if a username is already created, you can't do that with client-side validation unless you send a list of every single username that's ever been created. And you don't want to do that. With AJAX, the server-side validation could check that and send that data back, and it would look just like client-side validation. That's the magic of AJAX. Hopefully you guys see the power in that. AJAX isn't just good for form validation. It can also be used to check for new data. For example, in an email program, the website might use an AJAX request every two minutes to check if there's any new emails. That might be a little easier than having an open, persistent connection but it might not be, it just depends. Now, keep in mind, Ajax does not create persistent connections. The connection does not stay open. We're not creating the tunnel between the client and the server. We're just simulating that. It looks like there's an open connection, but there really isn't. This is a way to simulate a persistent or an open connection. On top of that, it's only one way. If the client doesn't request anything, there's not going to be any updates. The server cannot do a push. It can't push data to the client. That's all I got for you guys now, so I'll see you in the next video. And we'll be discussing, I forget, but it's gonna be cool. See ya.